Hello, so I'm back today with another Everything £5 video. So after I did my uh, previous video, uh, I looked at the website a few times and uh, decided, you know what, I'm going to have another go. Uh, from the last uh, um, shopping uh, spree that I did on the website, I kept, I think, five or six items and I did have a lot of use and I still have a lot of use of the t-shirts and uh, the dr black dress that I bought uh, which was just the best buy ever from that website uh, I used it once for a black tie night and I uh, felt really good I didn't feel like I'm wearing a five pounds item and I actually got some compliments about the dress so it was really nice um, buy from the website so this time I decided to spend a bit more um, overall I spent 210 pounds on the items so that means 42 items I think and I had to pay 40 pounds in postage yeah let's take a moment 40 quid but the last time um, I did the order and I sent the items I didn't want it back, the refund I got actually included the postage. So they charge you something like, I think, 75 pence per item um, for the postage. So it's like 5.75 you pay for each item. Uh, but when you send the items back, they give you the postage back. So I didn't mind paying the 40 pounds this time. Uh, so overall, as I said, I yeah, spent 250 pounds on the box and the box arrived a couple of days it stood in my hallway uh, for a few days just because i'm gonna show you the size of the box and it was just so overwhelming i was like i need like full day to film this video uh, so let me just show you um the box i'm just gonna move the camera down this is the box and this is me just to show you how massive it is it goes and let me try to lift it yeah, that's the box it's absolutely humongous there's just so much stuff in them and um it was delivered actually to my neighbors i felt really bad about it because it's so massive it had to take so much space uh oh yeah all 42 items so let's start trying them i will do the try on the similar way how i did last time so i'm just gonna try the clothes on obviously the ones i fit i'm gonna do like t-shirt type pieces of clothing first then move to like dresses and trousers I ordered quite a lot of trousers in this one and I didn't order any shoes because I was so disappointed with that one pair of shoes that I got. I probably will try again uh, because it's a bargain if you can find really nice shoes for five quid. So I'll probably try it again but no shoes in this one and I don't think there are any other accessories. Um, but yeah, let's try them on. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys this is how it was delivered. So when I opened the box, it's actually like half empty, so I have no clue why they use such a massive box. But you can see some of the items are just like thrown in there on hangers. Okay, so we have the first item on. And we're starting with a bad one. <laughs> so for me, the cut is really bad. I like, I really don't like it. I think it's too low. If the straps were shorter, uh, I think that would be better because you wouldn't be able to see my bra like now you can just see it here on the sides which I don't like um, overall the material isn't bad the lace is quite nice uh, quality actually um, but yeah that will be a no now one more thing that I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna try to be more brief in this video than I was in the previous one with the items I don't like just because it's 42 items if i start rambling about every single one this video is going to be like three hours long and none of us wants that no one will want to see me talk about clothes that i don't like for three hours so anyway uh moving on okay next we have this white top with the ruffled sleeves by a brand called gd paris golden day paris yeah so overall i don't mind the shape of it. I like the ruffle details on the sleeves. What I don't like is the material. It feels like this was made out of a bed sheet cover. So yeah, the material isn't nice. But I like the length of it. I like the crop length. Uh, I like the sleeves. But unfortunately, that will be a no because it just feels really cheap. Now we have another T-shirt by the GD brand. 
and it's very similar material this actually feels like a pyjama um, so <laughs> oh god not a good start is it three items and they all three really bad I mean this literally feels like a t-shirt they made for a pyjama and then decided oh no actually we need a t-shirt for our daily wear collection so let's add some lace to the sleeves I really don't like it now this one I love 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 so I'm very happy and um, so it's a sleeveless t-shirt with the back a bit longer than the front I love the material it's really nice when you touch it it feels really really nice I love the color I love the hidden buttons I'll show you so it's got like this hidden buttons detail there with nice cover so it look, looks nice and elegant and yeah I really really like it um, and I know that this one is from Dorothy Perkins and the label obviously is cut out but what they left is dolls and I show you da -da -da. if the camera focus on it there you go Dorothy Perkins mm -hmm. so another brand that we know that everything five pounds collaborates with this one is a keeper next t-shirt is by a brand called Miss KOO um, and there's nothing bad about it really um, I like the sleeves on it I like the details on the sleeves which is like a double lacy details detail and uh, it looks really nice I like this where you can make like a pretty bow I'm not gonna even attempt that but yeah that looks all right it's obviously a bit creased from being in the bag but the detail on it is nice I can't see any like raw hems or anything like that so that's good and it's double at the bottom so the material goes at the bottom as well here so the finish on it is really nice it's just not my style so it's not something I'm gonna keep because I can't see myself wearing this anywhere um, but yeah there's nothing bad about it so if you really like that I will link all the items that I ordered uh, down below in the description if you like this order it right next up is this um, long sleeve t-shirt by a brand called Lily Rose now there is nothing about uh, the way it looks um, I do like the little details on the sleeves over here and at the top of the sleeves is like little uh, lacy type details uh, what I really don't like is the material um, it feels weird it feels very very synthetic and it just feels like it's itchy but it isn't but it just feels uncomfortable and um, and it smells weird I wouldn't say it stinks because it's it's not that it smells like Crayola uh, if that makes sense to anyone I mean you probably remember how how those little crayons smell and it exactly that that's exactly the smell I can smell it which is weird um, so yeah that's an all next up is a t-shirt from a brand called Cameo Rose never heard of it but I have to say the material feel, it feels nice I think the cut actually suits me I do like the sleeves I do like that little detail uh, on the sleeves on the top of the sleeve that shows a bit of your arm and um, the sleeves themselves are uh, well they like they're not ruffle sleeves but they when you put them down they do ruffle a bit slightly um, yeah I like the length I like how it flows I like the back of it as well I'll show you so yes I will keep this one on the label on this one I can actually see the original price which was 20 pounds so 15 pounds discount happy with that I honestly don't know what went over me when I was creating this order because this is another t-shirt with a corset neckline and with those um, double lacy sleeves um, again I'm not gonna keep it I honestly don't know that's the thing with everything five pounds because you don't go there to shop for like outfits I mean I don't do that I go there to shop for pieces that I know no one's gonna have like because of the brands um, 
they, they have so many different brands that I never heard of. I like that. I like to have a piece from a brand. Uh, it's not that easily accessible in England. Anyway, coming back to this t-shirt, it's a no for me, but this one feels really nice. The material feel, feels really lovely. Uh, again, the sleeves are really nice and the quality of the finish is really good. It's just not something I would wear. Now, it was so hard to get into this next piece. I feel like I'm gonna live in it now. Um, so, it's a body. Mm -hmm. Now, I actually really like it. I think it looks really nice. The finish is really nice. I'll show you the ends of the sleeves. The lace is really, really nice uh, of the body. Um, I obviously have like a cream bra on. I think this would look really nice if you had a black bra with like some, you know, nice straps or maybe even like a, a bra less. I think that would look really good. Um, I'm not sure what to think about it. It feels a bit tight. I think the size that I ordered is not my size. Uh, so obviously that's an issue. Uh, looking at myself from the side, I feel like I'm a bit, makes me look a bit flat. Um, so overall, I do like it, but I think I'm gonna order the bigger size. Next t-shirt is by a brand called Love. And as I don't mind the cut and I don't mind the sleeves, I definitely don't love it because it's so so itchy like I literally I'm standing like that with my arms because when I put it down it literally itches all the way yeah I literally I just want to get it off me I needed something nice and soft after the last t-shirt and this definitely is nice and soft but definitely not my size I mean look how massive that is uh, what size did I order I've ordered size medium to large like I'm sized between 10 and 12 and so I thought you know medium to large but obviously different brands will have different uh, sizes um, so yeah I mean it feels really nice and soft and I assume it will look quite nice um, I like the different neckline on it that looks a bit different yeah but very very big and this one is by a brand called Libby never heard of it there you go keely b but yeah material is really nice it's really nice and soft just not my size looking at it i might actually try to order the smaller size because i do like it it's nicely finished i think this is the last of the t-shirts um and i really like it i like um how it looks i feel like i want to knot it see if i can do it I just hold it in a knot here. I probably would use like an elasticated band or something just to make that like a little knot. Um, I think this looks really, really nice. I love the sleeves. I love the balloon sleeves on it. Um, like this, I don't really like the length, so I would definitely have it cropped somehow. And most likely, I would just put, as I say, a little knot over here uh, to make it cropped. The material is really nice. The sleeves are amazing. I love the sleeves. Um, yeah, the material, I'm, I'm gonna cl come closer so you can see, so it's got like a texture on the material, but the colours are nice and vibrant. Look at those sleeves, and they obviously are going right to the bottom, so the finish is really lovely. I don't know what brand this is, because the label is cut out, and I really wanted to hide this one, because normally they do leave the inside labels, but on this one, even the inside is cut out. Um, so yeah, I would have no idea what brand this is. But yeah, I really like it and this is definitely a keeper. Right, we're going into dresses now and the first one, it's way too tight for me. Uh, it comes apart in the booby area, um, so it unfortunately would be a massive no, but um, overall the finish on it is really nice, the material is nice. It's uh, like the silk imitation material, uh, but it feels all right. And it's by a brand called De Vita. Never heard of it. Um, so overall, I do like it. I like the fit, like I, I like how it clinches your body and it just creates like a nice line. Uh, but as I said, it's way too tight for me. So I might try to get the bigger size. This is the size 10 and it's clearly not my size. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the next. Um, 
I honestly have no clue what I was thinking when ordering this. I mean, this is something, something special. Just don't know, don't know what. Um, yeah, so it's a massive no. I mean, why? Just, just the question is why. Um, right, what's the brand? Who, who made this? Who made this lovely dress? And we have a label. Yes, we do. So. JCL designed in Paris, so it's Paris Couture. Yeah, I clearly don't know anything about fashion because. Anyway, but if you're looking for like a costume, maybe, if you need to look like a fairy for some sort of event, uh, you could make something out of it. It would need some jazzing up doing, but yeah, it's a massive no for me because I don't think I have any party invitation where I have to look like a fairy or a massive peach. Now then boys and girls, we have another dress and this is nice. Uh, so it's like a burgundy bodycon dress. It looks nice. The sleeves are nice. The zip looks nice. It's flat there. Nothing sticking up. I like this choker details here. I like this lace over here. The only thing I don't like is how it looks. It makes it look like my boobs finish here, but they don't. They 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 rough right there, but these cups for your boobs are really tiny. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this one. I can't think of an occasion at the moment where I would wear it with a fiver. I think it's a dress worth keeping. Next we have a bodysuit. Now when I saw this on the website I was very excited because I was looking at buying a very similar one on Lavish Alice a couple of days ago and the Lavish Alice ones are like £70. So when I saw this I was like oh my god that's gonna save me like you know 60 odd quid. Unfortunately now it arrived um, well, I'm still going to be ordering the one on Lavish Alice because this is, first of all, very thin. The material is really, really thin um, and it just doesn't look right. Uh, I, I just don't like the finish on the top. i show you that it's uneven, this is bended, uh, it doesn't have any structure to it, so uh, yeah, oh, unfortunately I, I do not like it. So I'm going to be sending this one back. I'm going to show you as well this dress very quickly because I can't fit in it. So I won't be able to try it on and show you. Uh, it's very, very small. The size I ordered is size 12, um, but it's just way, way, way too small for me. I just can't get into it. Um, but this is how it looked. So it had like ruffle sleeves and ruffle at the bottom of the dress and had a writing on the side saying forever or never well it's a never for me because i am not ordering uh, this one again and looking at the label <laughs> this is really bad how they cut that one out you can tell it's topshop uh, so yeah if you are looking in topshop to get this dress well you can get it on everything five pounds and another dress with, uh, that I had very high expectations for and unfortunately it did not deliver. Uh, now the material is lovely, it feels nice and soft and it just, yeah, it's just really, really nice. Uh, but it just doesn't fit me. Uh, I mean, I just, I'll show you how I look in it like that. I, I just don't like the way it fits me. Um, I don't like the belt, it's very flimsy and floppy, so I would have to replace the belt. I don't like the buttons either, so I feel like I would need to replace the buttons for something a bit more bougie. I don't know, it, it just, yeah, it's too plain for me. Mm. I'm very disappointed with this one, because again, I saw this type of dress somewhere. Uh, I can't remember now where. But I thought, well, I'll buy it from everything £5 and save myself some pennies. 
uh, but clearly that's not going to happen so yeah that's a no okay next dress is a ball gown <laughs> um yeah i like the color of it i think the color is lovely and i'll be completely honest with you i like everything from here up i like the sleeves i like all the details i like this little knot over here and from here down is well let's call it a disaster let's call it what it is so i hate this line where it's the stitching like for me they should just continue with this pattern going out and then the cut itself i show you the edge of it is really badly finished and it doesn't stay in one line so it's you can see just like goes one side and the other side so probably you could iron that out and that wouldn't be a, a massive issue uh, but yeah unfortunately that's going to be a no for me um, i like how it fits on the back as well but yeah it's it's this line i don't know why they did it i honestly can't understand why they did it they had such a nice uh, idea with this knot here and they let it go to the top but they wouldn't just let it go to the bottom no idea why but it's going back next dress by a unidentified brand because the label is cut out and we are liking it yes we are liking it um, the material feel, feels nice uh, I actually like this sort of little belt because it's like a very thin strap with those heavy metal ends therefore it just keeps nice shape um, I do like the neckline I like this bit on the cleavage um, it's not too much it's not too little I like the three quarter sleeves I like the color so yeah overall I do like this one I like the length of it as well it's not too short not too long perfect summer dress right next dress is a, by a brand called cherry coco so <laughs> i really like the skirt i love tulle uh, skirts so <laughs> this looks so cool uh, this is probably the reason i ordered that uh, peachy dress i showed you earlier on um but yes the top bit i don't mind it the detailing of the little gems and pearls and sequences it's actually done really really nicely the quality of it is really really good let me come closer to the camera so you can see so yeah the quality of all of that is really really good the material feels good as well and um, the material of the chokes nice all you would need is like a belt to go around your waist because i don't i don't particularly like the line where it joins together but saying that the finish of it is really really good so well done coco cherry now um i'm not sure if i want to keep it or not to be honest with you i really like it but i just don't see where i would wear this like i just can't i can't think of an occasion where a dress like this would be something i would grab for, uh, in my wardrobe and I don't have a massive wardrobe and with the amount of clothes I buy I have to start being a way more selective uh, of the items I keep so it's really really nice but I I'm gonna be sending this one back next I have a kimono now as much as I love it I mean I really like the material of it I love the shape uh, I love kimonos and um, now this one feels a bit more like a, a dressing gown for me than a kimono that I would wear out um, but I think I'm gonna keep it as a dressing gown because it is really really nice it feels really nice yeah I mean you couldn't you couldn't wear that out I mean look how um, high those cuts are on the sides yeah you wouldn't want that um, you wouldn't want to go out in that. I mean, I wouldn't. You know, all people are different. Some people might want to, uh, but I wouldn't. But I will keep it uh, as a nightgown. Now, this item is definitely too big for me. I mean, it's a romper or a jumpsuit, we can call it. 
and I really like it. I like the material, obviously it's really really creased but I love that it's got little pockets and I love this detail uh, in the middle and the lace at the top going all the way around. Oh no, sorry it doesn't, it just goes at the front and uh, little sleeves, spaghetti sleeves are nice as well. The material feels very nice and it's by a brand called Fee Red. Paris, again Paris. Um, but yeah, I do really like it. I'm just going to zoom in to show you this detail over here. Um, unfortunately, this is way too big for me. Like, I ordered the size large to extra large. I assumed the small to medium, or there was no medium to large, or in small to medium. I knew it wouldn't be uh, good enough for me. But yeah, look at that. I mean, this is, this is humongous. Uh, so unfortunately, it will have to go back. But... I would have that if uh, if it would be my size. And we have another item from the Cherry Cocoa brand. And it's a dress I actually ordered in two different colors. So I have this color and, and I've got it in this one as well, which is like a lighter, more reddish. And now I'm not gonna even open this one to try it on because um, this does not suit me. I, I don't like how it fits. I mean, I've, I, it came with this little belt over here and I just tied around my waist and pulled a bit of the dress out from the top so it just creates a bit of like a you know cut out waist bit but I just don't like it it's not my style and I am disappointed about it because I have a dress um, like a flower dress from the Selfridges that I bought a few years back and I absolutely love it and the, the cut on the website I look, looked on the model I thought it's going to be very similar, but it isn't. Uh, it isn't at all. Um, so unfortunately, that's going back. And now we have a little black dress, and it's a lacy uh, dress with. Well, there is nothing under the sleeves, but obviously the middle, the whole body is covered with like an underskirt, underdress more likely. Um, so yeah, I do like how this one looks. I like that the sleeves are like fluted at the ends um, and yeah the lace looks nice um, the brand is called She Likes and yeah I do like it um, yeah look at the sleeve that looks really cool let me just zoom in on the lace so you can see the lace and the finish it is a bit like a raw hem but it all is sticking together, so nothing is falling apart. So that's quite good. So yeah, this, um, I think I'm gonna keep that. I feel like it needs some sort of decoration or something. I'm actually thinking about it now. It probably is like a bardo. Yeah, it's a bardo dress, isn't it? Well, I just dragged it to the top. Oh, oops. Correct that. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, I do do like this one. Now the next dress is from a very see-through material and it's very, very light. It feels like linen, so it might even be linen. And it came with this uh, belt. I would use it on a beach, uh, like a troll on, uh, on your swimming suit. When you, you know, sunbathing and you need to go somewhere and just throw this on. Because for me personally, I don't think I would wear that uh, on a daily basis. I think it's too too see-through and too short of it as well for my for my liking to just wear it on the street. It's got this rough well it's it's not a ruffle, it's more like a butterfly um cut. If you look at it, the sleeves go into the waist and then it's got those little roughly bits at the bottom so i think it's called the butterfly cut yeah there is nothing bad with it uh, and just like a throw on um for a beach and i have several of those already actually and most of them are actually white um because i always find white in summer is my favorite color so i will be sending it back but there is nothing wrong with that i think this is the last uh, dress i mean this isn't a dress it's like a bodysuit um but yeah, I do like that it's got pockets, there is some um, something here, mm, pulling out. Mm. 
Yeah, um, I like the ruffle detail at the front and it's the same one at the back like that. Um, I've got too big size. Um, this is definitely too big for me. Um, the sleeves, you can regulate them. Let me try to make the sleeve shorter. See if that makes it any better. How does this work? Yeah, that did made it slightly better, but still, I just feel like it's way too buggy. I mean, look how buggy it is over here. Um, so yeah, this is a no for me. But again, the material is nice. The quality of this one is quite low, I would say. There's something falling off here as well. So yeah, lots of things falling off. So I don't think I would recommend this one. And it's definitely going back. Okay, and we down to the skirts and trousers now and we're starting with this lovely piece from a brand called Lovey and I do really like it. I find it very very nice. I like the material, I like that lace detail at the top. The only issue I have with it is that I ordered the wrong size. Uh, so this is way 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 too tight for me. Um, this is the size 38, so it's a medium, and yeah, I mean, I can barely breathe in it, so, um, I, I mean, I could zip it, but it just feels really, really tight, so I will have to be sending it back, uh, but I most likely will try to order the size bigger if it's still available, because I do really like it. Now, I'm absolutely gutted with this one, because I love it so, so much. The material is lovely and I love those buttons, look at them, I'm just gonna come closer so you can see, they like wooden imitation of wood buttons, they look so lovely, but just to tell you how too small I ordered, those buttons over here and them too, they should be zipped here, so I can't even get it close enough. But I ordered a size small, I assumed that was the only size available, so I will have to be sending it back. But oh my god, the material is so nice as well. I have no clue what brand it is, let's have a look. It's A-I-K-H-A, -A. that's the name of the brand. So yeah, I will be sending it back because obviously it's way, way, way too small for, for me, but honestly you should go and grab it the moment it goes back because um, it's just amazing it's beautiful i am a massive lover of that sort of skirt so it's like a pleated um, tulle material and i love the color i love the length of it because it's just to my ankles like that so this is one that is definitely staying with me the quality of it is really really nice and I know I'm gonna have so much use out of it. I'm definitely gonna wear it with like a crop top. I mean, I've, I've put like a little jumper on now. If I just hold it at the back, you can I mean, just go on my knees. There we go. Uh, so yeah, if I get a crop top like that, I just think that's gonna look so, so nice. It's got like a rubber um, belt at the top, quite thick rubber which I think it will look nice as well if it's exposed with like a really crop top. Um, so yeah, this is one that is definitely staying with me. And this is one that doesn't have a label. I mean, it's got like the label cut out, so I won't be able to tell you where it is from. It doesn't have pockets, that's the only minus. But overall, I really like this one. I love this sort of shorts. I love uh, this sort of top of the shorts where it's like ruffled at the top with a belt it's got two massive pockets i love the length and the material is so so soft um they are way too big for me like i'm gonna pull this forward look at that it's like i literally can almost fit another person in here or a massive massive lunch um so i will have to be sending them back but honestly they are really really nice they buy a brand jc L. Well, we had that brand before today. Yeah, and this is the medium to large size. So I think it was the same with the other item from this brand. The medium to large, it's just too big if you size between 10 and 12. Uh, but yeah, the material is so, so nice. They're so, so soft. Um, I do recommend them. Right, so as much as the sizing with the tops and the dresses is all right, I do really struggle with the sizing of the bottoms. <laughs> Look at that. This is how far away it is for me to zip it. 
Um, and this is a size medium. I mean, come on. This is ridiculous. Uh, I mean, they look weird anyway. The, the, the cut is really weird on them. Uh, in my opinion, uh, I thought they're gonna be, well, they are colored, um, but yeah, they're like the old, do you remember a couple of years ago there was this style for the Aladdin trousers and they give me that vibe of PP Hammer, was it? Yeah, but anyway, too small. I love the color though, the color is beautiful. There we have trousers that I actually want to keep, they lovely them. They fit me really, really nicely. They were a bit hard to put on because they don't have any zip or anything like that. So they're just elasticated at the top, but they're not elasticated God knows how much because uh, obviously whoever made them wanted them to fit nice and snug at the top. So I do really like that. They have pockets either side. I love the color, which is like a, um, like a brick red color. The length is quite nice as well on me. They go right to the bottom, uh, but I wouldn't have to have heels. I mean, they designed to be worn with heels. I think they would look so much here. Yeah. Once I stand on my tiptoes, they look so, so much better. Um, so yeah, I will be keeping them. And we have another skirt from the Lobby brand. Very similar to the other one um, with Obviously the difference is that this one is black and the pattern is on it is slightly different but overall the cut is the same. This one fits me nicely, unfortunately I don't like the pattern um, so I'm not gonna be keeping this one but again the material is nice and the fit of this one is actually really really nice. Um, so yeah it's just not something that I need in my wardrobe at the moment uh, but yeah for anyone who is looking for a uh, mid-length black skirt this one could be a nice option right so i am loving the color the color is beautiful again i bought oh, two big size i can show you here the way too big this is by a brand called cna and i actually do know it uh, it's not a brand that is in england but i do know the brand the length is good the cut is nice they feel really nice and the material is nice and thick and you can uh, feel that it's a good quality material but uh, I mean they are at least one size too big I mean I would say yeah I mean I can just bend it like that at the front um, so yeah they way 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 too big for me but that's the thing when you order from everything five pounds you have a, a selection of so many different brands and there are no sizings on the website so you like sort of guessing um, the sizes so yeah they have to go back and um, it's a shame i will try to get them in a different size in a smaller size because i would keep them if they would be my size now those leggings i are by a brand called clockhouse and i do really like them i like how stretchy they are they are 90 percent cotton and 10 percent polyester which makes them nice and stretchy i like the color it's not a color i would normally wear but i've got this red jumper on now and i think them two colors together look actually really nice um yeah they're comfortable and they are quite good quality i'm looking now on the seams and the stitching and it all looks perfect to me the material feels nice and soft so yeah that's a keeper for me definitely and we have next a pair of leggings now they have the label cut out so i don't know where they're from they have no uh, and only other markings on them the quality is a bit worse than the other ones that i just tried uh, but they are alright, um, the material feels really nice, it's got like a meshy feel to it, uh, but it feels really nice. They're comfortable, they're stretchy, um, I'm not going to be keeping them because I don't like how long they're making my body look, like here. Um, I just feel like it, my body looks really, really long, just because they are high-waisted, that's basically the reason. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to be keeping them, but they fit really nicely, the length is perfect as well for me. Uh, so yeah, they probably for someone, just not for me. And we have a skirt from a brand called Pure Oxygen. Um, it's too short for me. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I just don't like uh, the length of it. 
it's not that's the thing it's not too short it's not just the length uh, i don't like the length uh, the material is very nice and um, the finish is it's good yeah there is no um nothing coming off it or oh, actually there's one little line over here oh yeah the, it's nothing really um so yeah it's all right it's just um not something that will fit into my wardrobe at the moment uh, but yeah it's nothing wrong with it now this is creepy because i forgot completely that i bought this um so this is a leather imitation skirt and yesterday i was actually going out and getting ready and i was planning to wear like a red t-shirt and i was thinking to myself oh my god how much i want like a leather skirt or leather trousers to go with it and little i knew there was one sitting in my uh, hallway and just waiting for me to unpack it now if i unpacked that yesterday i probably would wear it um because i unpacked it today and obviously it's the day after and i uh, went out for that event already um i would be sending this one back because i don't like the material um, it is obviously imitation of leather but it's very cheap imitation so it's like this plasticky it's got this plasticky feel to it now the, now the fit on it is really nice and i'm not saying that the quality of the plasticky material is bad because it isn't um i just don't particularly like it um but it does look like a little, uh, leather um as long as you don't touch it so um yeah there's nothing bad about it um it is by a brand called nutmeg and i think this is um a brand that is sold by one of the supermarkets in uh, England. I think it's, I think it's the Sainsbury's one, but I, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure to be honest. But yeah, honestly, there's nothing bad with it. Uh, and if I would unpack it yesterday, I would wear it and keep it. But now I'm gonna be sending it back, just because I know I can find a better quality leather skirt. Now my last item from this everything five pounds uh, haul will be this dress, but before I get to this dress, I'm gonna show you those trousers, which were the last trousers that I had to try. Unfortunately, they were way too small. So they are from Esprit. And we have the brand over here. And honestly, I don't understand why this label is in cutout because Esprit is in England. So I don't know but it's probably because it's on the buttons anyway so yeah but it's got like four buttons here and i thought they look really nice the material is really good quality but it's esprit so you will expect really good quality and they're like three quarter um skinny jeans so they are really really nice the color is lovely as well um the 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 legs are cut open like on the end like that um which obviously is a feature I do really like that um, but yeah they were very small very very small and this is size what size is this that I ordered du, du, du. thirty-eight so it's UK size twelve well clearly I'm not UK size twelve in S pre um, measuring system it's really weird because a couple of years ago I was wearing size 8 from Esprit, so oh well. Anyway, let's go back to this dress, which is the last item that we have. It is by a brand called... Hmm, what are you called? Flan Mode. Paris. Paris again. Um, yeah, ruffle sleeves that go to the back. Well, I didn't zip it, but it, I won't be able to because it's quite tight here already um, so yeah I do like it but it is definitely too small for me um, I love the ruffle sleeves well it's not really a sleeve it starts from the sleeve it goes all the way around I like the length of it as well it needs some sort of accessory it needs some sort of belt or something just to make it a bit pop uh, a bit but yeah overall it is a quite nice dress unfortunately um yeah it is too small for me and that's all the items that i had in today's everything five pounds haul so it shows you that even after buying 42 items i managed to keep only i think five or six 
so it's always good idea to order a few more of the items just get it all at once so you can just try them on at home and just send back whatever you don't like um so yeah i was a bit disappointed with the dresses this, this time where last time the dresses were way better in my opinion but you know you you try and fail and try again that that's the beauty of everything five pounds because it's just five pounds you're paying for an item you don't feel like you're spending god knows how much money to try them clothes on and uh, so for me it's way easier to spend like 250 quid on 42 items than going to like i don't know high street retailer and for 240 quid i would buy like four pieces of clothing so i think it's a good option uh, to try get some new pieces into your wardrobe that are unusual and not many people will have so yeah i think that's enough for this video i <laughs> rambled for way 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 too long if you manage to stay with me right to the end please leave me a comment down below because i'm just gonna say well done to you for sticking with me and i will see you in the next one bye